All right, back in the locker room again. Um, we're just coming off of a, uh, a series of three, starting with uh, covering power and then covering uh, our screen package, which is a uh, play side gap or zone type scheme. Uh, and then uh, we did another session comparing uh, uh, the screen package and the power package and, and when uh, you uh, like to use uh, both of those um, um, in certain situations. Uh, those are uh, kind of tailback series uh, in general and so we want to be able to incorporate our other back, our, our second back, or two back, the full back. Uh, sometimes uh, he's a bigger back and more of a blocker and receiver um, than a runner. Uh, it, sometimes you get away with a smaller back and, and uh, may want to expand a, a running package for, uh, for your, your second back. But anyway, we want to go over some of the compliments uh, out of power and scream that incorporate uh, uh, that uh, second back and then um, also talk about some of the other compliments that uh, are, are nice to use uh, with uh, these two packages. So let's go to the board and get going with that. So <clears throat> we're going to start with uh, um, just a basic dive play uh, to this uh, second back here so how we, how we run this is uh is we're just gonna we're gonna man this and and come off the ball uh very vertical uh and uh without uh, any uh false steps so uh it's uh pretty pretty basic in this particular case um if we start on the on the play side here uh he's gonna take man over um he's gonna step with that inside foot first and drive block him uh, he's going to do the same, go to the, the second level. Uh, center is going to do the same here. Uh, and we're going to take this nose guard wherever he goes. So if he slants on us, we're going to run, we're going to run with him that way. Uh, if he, if he's, if he slants down, uh, this direction, we're going to try to block him by. Now on the back side of this, we do something a little different. Uh, so we're actually going to run a little scoop scheme here. Um, where um, he's going to uh, initially uh, uh, flat step in, into the A gap. And from here, we've got a couple options. If this guy is coming, we can work up to him. Uh, if he sees this guy scrape, he can actually go ahead and, and fold around that block uh, to pick him up. Uh, and then we're going to secure this backside B gap with another initial flat step and scoop scoop up through there. Um, but basically we want, you know, kind of a vertical push. Uh, we don't tend to think that this guy's much of a factor here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and, and uh, inside release. We may get a little friction on the inside release and work up to that next level. Uh, we'll block um, uh, these guys uh, pretty much the same as we usually do with their inside releases uh, coming up that way. And so our, uh, our, our two back, our second back here, he's going to take just a little uh, uh, slight uh, flat step out uh, and then drive vertical as well. Okay. Um, now he can read these blocks if things close up, you know, he's got a multiple way to go. We don't want this to be like a, a, a draw block though. We just want him just to get a good power step in the ground and come firing off of that power step in a more vertical vector than normally we would see him like on a power play taking off on, on that vector there. So a little different vector for him, but we want to uh, hit the hole pretty fast. We don't really need any delays on this getting to the hole. This back is uh, going to uh, go ahead and simply take a, uh, an arc release outside. Uh, quarterback is going to reverse out on this. I want to get him a little bit away from the line of scrimmage uh, so that we've got all of our lanes open. Uh, and so he's going to uh, reverse a uh, quick handoff here, and then he's going to carry out uh, on a boot. Uh, so that's, that's how we would set that uh, particular uh, play up. Uh, pretty 
simple, easy way to get him the ball. And now we're going to come off of this. Let's uh, just take a few of these little lines out of the picture here. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, come to the counter off of that uh, play. Um, and in this case, uh, we're going to come back to this, this guy here on this arc release. Um, so essentially the quarterback, it, the, the, the fullback's going to run his dive release, take it out to the back side. The quarterback's going to start his reverse out and then quick pitch it out here. So how we're going to block this is we're going to go ahead and have this guy here go ahead and step, he's going to step down uh, to the B-gap and hinge back. Uh, so that kind of B-gap control thing, uh, but we want him back off the line of scrimmage. Uh, we're not going to get any B-gap penetration because we're going to actually go ahead and work this guy underneath this block here and he's coming out uh, to the flat area. Uh, the center is coming out to the alley. Uh, this guard is working into a turn back position uh, and trying to cut, uh, cut the flow. Obviously, we're going to go ahead and, and gap these guys down as well. Let them get out and run. I'll let him get out and run. Uh, this man here, he, stay, he takes most dangerous player in this place, with, in this case with this inverted corner. Uh, he's simply just going to go uh, block that corner. Um, we're, we will. Um, not pick up this guy if he if he runs a vertical uh, release here uh, upfield that that potentially is a, a little bit of a problem for us um, uh, from this this uh, tight position uh, if we actually saw that as a potential uh, on film or if this play doesn't work once uh, we may come down and go ahead and and set a little pick on him uh, on this play. So that's a, a quick pitch coming out this way. Um, and let's clean this up again. Uh, having to redo everything. Hate to get too many lines involved here, but we're just going to come back and run um, a little uh, 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 quick roll off of this uh, where we use this same play action. Now the quarterback, he's going to do his reverse out and he's going to wrap around here and he's just going to run a straight sprint out to the sideline. Our fullback in this case is working along here to pick up any pressure that might leak through and avoid that. We're taking our inside release now and then we're going to work it back out uh, on a vertical route there. We're not running the corner now. We're actually getting um, uh, a, a, a deep vertical there. Uh, tight end, he's going to come down and stick uh, just for a second and pop straight back out to the sideline. Um, and then again, our far receiver is going to give us uh, a mid-level route coming across here at about 12. Sort of a familiar flood pattern for us uh, with the deep vertical. And here now we will have that wheel that's going wide uh, up the up the sideline, so that's uh, uh, that's another form of a boot pass. Which we really like to do on this is run the elephant and on stampede look with it, kind of an influence look. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, bring this guy uh, back uh, and to kind of give give uh, that same look as as if we're going here initially, uh, but all these other guys are simply running out here uh, in what we call elephants on stampede, okay? Um, so uh, we want to make, sh make sure our tackle is, you know, well aware of the, the depth we're trying to get. They're going to come on this side of them uh, to get out there. Now again, the other play that we have, very similar to our, our uh, counter pass play, uh, is none of these guys can go downfield. Uh, uh, um, on, on this 
on, on when, we're, when we're running this flood concept over here, uh, but we can also come back to this and have this back settle out here and then come back with a late screen up this, uh, this sideline, so another form of a counter screen. Uh, so that's, a, uh, that's you know, all based off of that initial uh, dive action uh, by the back. Um, so let's clean that up and then let's talk about a couple of other things we like to do to get our other back engaged in the game. And uh, let's put up a different front for fun. stack up some backers and give a different coverage look as well. Okay, so um, the other play that uh, uh, we uh, like to run comes uh, out, of the, uh, out of the screen concept, uh, really, and uh, all we're going to do is, is go ahead and run our, our screen blocking here. Um, push that guy by essentially. We're going to have to scoop up this back side, uh, but you see that, that uh, very familiar blocking concept. And in this case, we're going to take our, our fullback and he's running that same B gap vector that he runs in the, uh, when, when we're using our tailback uh, as he's sort of searching uh, for a, a blocker. But our quarterback, instead of opening uh, uh, underneath that, and coming to the handoff uh, back here to the tailback, uh, he's going to simply reach and ride and go. Okay, we're going to go ahead and give it to give it to our second back here, and in this case, our tailback is going to take uh, another arc release. Only this time, it's going to be in the direction of this uh, initial play action. Uh, so this is this is simply a play side uh, uh, zone type scheme. We're coming off with an option look here, uh, which then forces uh, our um, opponents to prepare for the option. Uh, obviously, our, our next look on this would be uh, for our fullback to run his lane and get downfield at about the linebacker level, level he should start to look to pick up a block. And, uh, and then uh, let's bring him inside. Uh, on his block, and he's usually doing his usual thing there. So uh, we can come off of this with an option play. Now we have not um, uh, freed up a play side guy. We're not running this like a veer option. We're basically running this play uh, for the quarterback uh, to uh, you know, try to get the edge and get outside being accompanied by the pitch man. At any time, if he gets uh, pressure, instead of a jump cut off of that uh, sense of pressure, uh, we're going to allow uh, the pitch uh, for the quarterback. So that's just a nice, uh, a nice little compliment. Um, some of the things that you know can go along with that. We're not going to be a big option team, but you have a, a very natural reverse off of it coming back. Uh, uh, Probably that pitch occurs just a little bit earlier than that, uh, and uh, the, we would do something very similar on the uh, blocking of uh, uh, of this this scheme, where uh, we would uh, use our guard, our center, and our other guard uh, to uh, uh, initially engage their uh, their blocks, and then uh, kind of crush this down this way, uh, and. Um, um, and, and get some blocking out in front of the reverse. Um, again, this guy would probably block the most dangerous threat. Um, if we had a, a loose guy on the backside that we were worried about, again, we may have him come down and set a pick. Uh, but that can be a little bit of a dicey block, so we'd like to uh, influence this guy to pursue flat down the line uh, and not have to block him at all. Um, so. So we just basically put in uh, a couple of uh, uh, nice plays to the, uh, to the fullback uh, that have uh, 
some nice little counters off of them and one of them with a pass play. Don't let it uh, really throwing out of the option look. Uh, we, we could put something in for that, but not my preference. Um, so the uh, other two back play uh, that is kind of part of this, uh, this package Put it up against this front again. Um, is uh, if we're running a little uh, counter action uh, off the off of our our, our counter get, uh, counter uh, tray look, um, we uh, sometimes like to uh, sneak a little trap in uh, to the to the fullback as well. So you know, let's say we were running our screenplay this way. So. We're, we've been running our counter coming back this way. Uh, again, our counter back uh, on this play uh, takes uh, his uh, counter step and then comes back downhill this way, okay? We're gonna send him a little bit wider um, and not, not exactly like a uh, Nebraska, old school Nebraska counter sweep, still kind of running the counter tray, uh, but just a, a, a little wider vector off of uh, off of that, and uh, and our our fullback is going to start on his initial B gap control vector for this play, um, and he'll take just a, a flat step uh, there, settle for a moment, and as the quarterback is going to come out on a little bit more of a vertical angle to make this work, instead of a screen where he's a little bit more out there, come out a little bit more on a vertical angle and he'll slide the ball here and then get a completion of uh, fake here and then run his uh, waggle action out the back, okay? So we wanna, get, we wanna get, and this could actually probably be a little bit, a little bit flatter that way um, on that angle, um, but instead of getting the full tray blocking here, what we're gonna get is, is a, a trap look. And, and our rule is typically we're gonna trap the first guy uh, past the, the center on the line of scrimmage. So even though this guy's sitting in the one technique, we're still going to try uh, to get him trapped. Um, so we're going to block it uh, back to here. Okay, uh, We'll bring him up onto there as well, and we'll try to work up on a combo uh, on, on that block a little bit, uh, hoping this guy takes a false step. Um, and then we're going to take and... Um, uh, um, run this guy through here as well, run this guy through here as well, and then we'll come back and try to trap this one technique and see if we can get up through there. So um, hopefully we can uh, slip this block underneath. You know, if that doesn't always work well, uh, we do have an option to to influence out, but we lose a blocker at point of attack. Um, so that's how we'd approach that. Obviously, if you're running the other direction, we get a three technique tackle. Uh, that's preferred. Uh, we have a little bit more uh, room to, uh, to make that uh, work. And then if they're in an odd front, uh, it's uh, a double on the nose with the, the trap going out there. Um, so uh, on this, again, these guys run their same inside releases working up uh, to the next level uh, and uh, just trying to get a, a nice uh, quick vertical play uh, for our, our two back uh, out of that and it complements what we've already got in. Um, and then the next thing that uh, we want to talk about, um, which we, we briefly touched on before, but that uh, having the screen series in a very good series to be running in between the 20s when we got a lot of space. Um, you know, uh, our, our second back is probably going to be our better blocking back for pass pro, uh, and hopefully he's an adequate enough athlete to give us, uh, you know, some pass receiving skills, uh, some, you know, screen passes and, and getting downfield a little bit too. Um, uh, but we'd also like him to be able to, you know, sort of run the, the complement of plays uh, if we, you know, get back into uh, uh, shotgun 
sorry, into a shotgun formation. So um, just sort of, uh, you know, case in point here, uh, it's pretty hard to run uh, power out of this. Uh, and so, we're, you know, we, we could run some pick and pull stuff, but uh, probably not going to do that uh, out of this particular set. But the, the plays that we do have uh, that we can still call, you know, we can uh, essentially still run our, um, our, our screen play out of this. Uh, and that's available to us um, to this second back. Uh, we can also go ahead and um, let's clean this up a little bit. We can also go ahead and get a little trap off of it um, through through uh, through there. Um, and uh, you know, if we wanted to, I suppose we could even call. Uh, the dive blocking uh, similarly right up and in, in through there. It hit a little bit slower, but it, it, it would still be an effective uh, play for us um, in uh, running that. So we would have that kind of internal blocking uh, scheme prepared uh, already, and then it's just a matter of understanding that all we're doing is, is giving it to the same guy out of a different formation. Uh, but this opens up, you know, a number of different possibilities for us. Uh, you can, you, you know, you can get a read play uh, in here, and then uh, we have the potential out here uh, for some uh, quick screens. Um, which, I'll just kind of throw up our concepts behind it. You've seen this... Uh, kind of uh, put out there before, uh, we'll, we would uh, uh, tend to give action away and protect here. Um, depending on where we're throwing the ball to, our tackle is going to be responsible uh, for controlling uh, this edge guy a little bit. Um, you know, again, a lot of times it's just a matter of him settling back into here uh, uh, and uh, drawing somebody uh, to him off of the play fake, like it's being turned down, uh, and then uh, and then uh, what we typically do uh, on all of our our screens is uh, we're going to use these guys to get out um, in front of it, um, and so we'll uh, we'll do that um, on any kind of you know any kind of a delayed screen where it's advantageous to get a few guys out. Uh, blocking in, in front of it, uh, and uh, uh, and not not so much if we're just uh, trying to run like a uh, 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 quick screen off the edge like that. Uh, we'll just probably throw it out there. So that's all available to us. We've got um, our little screen package, and then obviously we've got um, uh, the the combination routes and the quicker passing game. Um, I'm not going to go into all of that, but you know, you can have your slants and you can have your, your uh, hitch game, you can have your vertical game, you can twist your vertical game, uh, you know, you've got all of that, uh, all of those types of things uh, available to you uh, in a spread formation, uh, stretch the field a little bit, uh, uh, um, sideline to sideline stretch it a little bit uh, vertical and all of a sudden you can get uh, a little bit of an interior run game going. So th those would be just uh, some of the basic uh, compliments uh, that uh, we would want to have in. Uh, you know, we, we're a no huddle system, uh, so we feel, you know, with this, this kind of a package in, we really have the ability to move the ball when we have open field space. But you know, when we get down in tight quarters and the field doesn't open up as readily, we have no problem uh, packing it in, uh, going double tight and playing football in a phone booth uh, and running some power stuff uh, at people. And, uh, and, and that in many ways is our, you know, probably our preferred way uh, to play the game. But we want to have uh, a system in place um, that has answers uh, for all situations. And we don't need a thousand answers for all situations, but we gotta have at least one for all situations, uh, yeah, if, if not two to three. 
um, and that we uh, you know can really control a game. We can manage a, a, a two-minute drill when we're uh, behind um, uh, or at the you know end of the half. Uh, we can uh, also convert and, and slow things down and drain the clock uh, uh, in a four-minute type drill when we have uh, the lead uh, at, the, at the end of the game. Uh, and uh, we want to be able to, you know, have a very effective game to punch it out uh, from uh, our own goal line and get us uh, get some wiggle room to work. And we want to have a, a game that's a little bit more wide open when we've got wide open spaces, but when we get down inside of here and that field gets tight, uh, we want to be able to um, uh, continue to con convert to first downs and, and stay on the chains and not stall out. And uh, so, you know, we're probably going to get uh, more into our two back sets down in here. And certainly if uh, we get a, uh, a first and goal um, on the one yard line, our, our, uh, our objective is to run the ball in. Uh, now, you know, I'm not saying that we wouldn't also, you know, run a little easy play action down there as well, because it's very effective if you've got a good run game. But uh, for me to line up on the one yard line first and goal and, uh, and to think that, you know, I'm going to have to uh, sort of read the, the box, read what they're bringing, uh, determine whether or not, you know, we can run it in. Uh, and then look out to uh, uh, to the to the receivers if we can't when there's such tight spaces, you know you got to get into run and rubs and you know you get all kinds of uh, opportunities for uh, uh, penalties and and uh, lost yardage, uh, you know and it's just not very appealing to uh, be in that situation. Uh, it's not appealing to me to watch those situations. Uh, where teams come down and they throw the ball three times uh, from the one uh, because the rules demand it uh, and, uh, and they come away uh, empty. Um, that's just distasteful to me, so we don't want to do that. So anyway, those are, those are just you know, uh, some quick uh, uh, concepts uh, that uh, you, know, you can incorporate uh, in, into uh, uh, your playbook and your terminology and how you want to run those, those type of combination routes. Thanks.